right, guys, we're here at Absolute Recomp in Texas. Sunny? Dr. Sunny Andrews here, Evie Journey Elite athlete. And fresh off the slopes from Colorado and got her to fly directly here on our way to Florida. We are three weeks. Three weeks. 21 days out from the Arnold Classic. It's exciting because we are just checking in right before we do our final push into the prep. So we got a lot to talk about, but right now it's all about working hard. We're going to hit some glutes and we're going to give you a lot of tips and tricks on how to get that three dimensional IMAX glute up. IMAX glute. All right, it's all about that mind-muscle connection, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the abductor machine. Mind-muscle in the beginning before we go into the compound exercises so that you can get a pre-pump. That pre-pump is going to allow you to be able to get better contractions on the heavier weights on the compound movements. Pro tip, what we want to do is make sure that you get maximum contraction and what we're going to do is help with forced reps and then when forced reps are no longer an option, then what I'm going to do is even do some negatives at the end. So we want final failure, we want to get it to complete failure. So we're going to get forced reps and then we're going to do negatives. much weight. They end up using too much weight, not being able to get enough reps. I always recommend to get at least 12 to 15 reps to get that mind-muscle connection rolling. Make sure you're using a middle of the ground, middle of the road weight, not too heavy, because you've got to be able to get that blood to flow. Sunny's getting ready to do glute bridges. A lot of different machines are out there, so you definitely start off lighter so that you can actually get the proper feel and the proper foot position. The biomechanics will be different on every single machine. If you're using a barbell, same thing, definitely start off lighter so you can be able to get a good arch and squeeze all the way to the top and make sure you do not use momentum.
all about variation. What you want to really do is focus on being able to get the biomechanics. If the biomechanics just aren't working out because it's not adjustable enough, you might want to go into that single leg position and then work the angles because you create a lot more mind-muscle connection when you're using one limb at a time. Go.